Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Tyler. Welcome back to yet another episode of Crazy Customers. Now, if you want more of these, I have a whole series. It's all on a playlist. You can go check it out. I don't know what part this is, but I have filmed so many in the past two weeks. It's insane. Anyways, this one happened yesterday. By the way, I work at a pet store. I feel like I should say that. <laughs> if any of y'all are new, are you new? I don't know. Probably not. But this happened yesterday. I am working a six day in a row week yet again. So I am already like tired. I'm angry. I'm tired of dealing with crazy people. Just like, hey, understand that. Anyways, this lady, she comes in. She is wanting two fish for her children. So already I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be great. Nobody who's getting fish for their children actually cares about the fish unless the children are like older like 15 then they can actually take care of the, ch the fish but your your five-year-old child is not going to take care of the fish so already red flag she's on the phone she calls me over she presses the button where it's like you need help so then it's ringing in my radio i go over to talk to her she's like yeah i want two fish and i'm like okay do you have like a tank set up? And she's like, no. Oh, my manager. My manager just, just left. Okay, that's fun. But yeah. Um, She didn't have a tank, so I went to go show her a tank. She was looking at bowls, which you can't keep fish in bowls. So I was already like, my dude, this is going to be a disaster. Like I'm going to have to tell her everything about fish right now. I guess so. Yeah. Um, and then she ended up looking at a five gallon, which is not horrible. Most people, they want like the two gallon or the three gallon. No, I got her looking at the five gallon. And then she was like, no, I can't set this up. I don't know how to set it up. I didn't want to say this because it's rude. But if you can't put a filter on a fish tank, like just hang it off the edge, then you shouldn't have fish. Like if it's too confusing for you to figure out how to put a filter on a fish tank then you shouldn't you shouldn't have fish so she was asking for one that was already set up so I showed her one that was already set up like it had everything hooked up it was like a filter in the tank like behind a wall you know those it was it was a really small tank it was a three gallon so I was already like okay you can't really do anything in that you can get one fish okay one fish and she was looking at an angel fish obviously like no and here she was she was freaking talking on the phone um while she was looking at tanks and she was like okay i'm gonna think about this for a second so i'm like okay i stand there for like 10 seconds because she isn't talking to me she's like yelling on the phone so i walk away and i tell my best friend who's on register about the situation because it's really annoying like, if you're going to come in and talk to a worker, don't be on your phone. It's so rude. It's so rude. So I walked away. And then she comes and yells at me. Why did you walk away from me? This was like two minutes later. Maybe one minute. I think I'm exaggerating. Like one minute after I walked away, she was like, why did you walk away from me? So then I come back and we're talking. And I'm like, okay, do you know what fish you want? Obviously, the angel fish was out of the question, so I showed her a black and white fish because she wanted a black and white fish. Show I, show I, no. So I showed her a Dalmatian molly. You can only have one. You really shouldn't have one in a freaking three gallon tank. But you know, I was like, you know, you shouldn't do this, but if you really want this fish, okay. Um, so yeah, that happened and she was asking about the chemicals because i was like oh yeah this is a new tank like you can't just put a fish in new water because they can go into shock and they can die and she was like oh my gosh okay can you show me the chemicals so i walk away and go to the chemicals and she's screaming on the phone she just walked away again so i walk up and the guy on the phone is like, I can't believe she just keeps walking away. And I'm like, ma'am, I just tried to show you the chemicals that you asked me to show you. And she was like, okay, I want these two fish. 
I'm not selling her those fish. We didn't even talk about it. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna show you the chemicals now. She finally followed me. Finally, finally followed me. And I showed her, hey, you need this water conditioner and you need this quick start. And I also showed her like different options because we have multiple options at my work. Um, so she grabs a water clarifier after I was like, yeah, you need water conditioner and quick start. I pointed them out. I was like, hey, you need this. And then I put it back. And hey, you need this, put it back. And then I pointed at them again. And she picks up a water clarifier and I'm like, ma'am, that's a water clarifier. You don't need that. And she was like, well, you could at least show me where they are. And I'm like, I'm literally about to lose my mind at this point. I don't know. I don't know. So I showed her the chemicals. I did all that. And I was like, okay, well, you have your water conditioner. You have, you have your quick start. And she was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to go pick out a fish tank by myself. So I was like, okay, and I, I walked away. I walked away. God forbid I walk away when you tell me to leave. Um, yeah, so then I go, I tell my bestie about what is going on. My bestie who works on register. And then she goes, she grabs her tank, and then these two chemicals. There's mating bugs happening on my windshield right now. That was weird. Anyways, what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, she went to go bring her stuff after I told my bestie about her. And so I leave when she walks up because I'm like, um, I can't deal with her anymore. I can't, I can't deal with her. So I go to the fish podium at my work. <laughs> and my bestie calls me on the radio and she's like, are you going to get this woman her fish? And I was like, absolutely not. Oh, I missed this. But we were talking about like how you can't add fish. And I told her, hey, you're going to have to wait two days to add fish. Or you should wait. I wasn't like, you have to. But I was like, you should. And she was like, oh, okay, I'll wait then. And then she goes up to register asking where her fish are. So then I walk up after my bestie told me. And I was like, absolutely not. So I walked up to register because I knew there would be a problem. I walk up. Here she is saying that I lied. The customer. She's like, she said she was going to get me my fish. Where are my fish? I want to get my fish. And I was like, actually, ma'am, we talked about this. We spoke about this. We discussed this. Like, you can't get fish right now. And she was like, oh my god, I can't believe this. And again, like, screaming on the phone. Holding up the line on the register. Like, not... I don't know. And then she lies about one more thing. I forgot what it was. And then she walked away calling us both assholes she was like oh my god these assholes and she stormed off she left her fish tank on the register and her two chemicals she just left them first of all if you're if you're buying fish you don't have fish food you don't have a heater you i didn't even bag the fish for you like you didn't even i don't get it make it make sense please like make it make sense I don't know what really aggravated me was that she kept saying like I can't believe you keep walking away from me it's like ma'am you're you're screaming on the phone to who I'm assuming is her partner I don't know I didn't ask I'm not over here asking people's relationship status at work but that's what I'm assuming happened please don't run into my car thank you they almost did they're backing out and fixing their mistake <laughs> love that um, I'm gonna move over here so they can't see that I'm talking to myself on my camera. So yeah, that happened. And then she also lied to my friend, like, saying that I was gonna get her fish. Thank God, like, I work here because the people here are so nice and understanding. Like, if somebody did this at Walmart, let, like, let's say if Walmart sold fish. I used to work at Walmart, by the way. But if somebody said oh she was gonna sell you fish like people would just believe the customer but no like my besties know all the tea there is no missing information so that happened i had to i didn't deny a fish sale um i just got tired of her lying because she was like you're gonna get me these fish 
And I was like, ma'am, we already, we literally discussed this and you agreed. You literally agreed to, okay, they're gone. You literally agreed that you would wait two days to get fish. And then you come up acting like you're going to buy these fish with two chemicals in a fish tank. No decorations, no gravel, no fish food. Did you really think that I was going to get you fish? I didn't even say that to her because I didn't even think about that until today. Like, ma'am, you didn't even have fish food. Like, were you really just trying to get fish or were you trying to waste our time and start crap? I don't know. But that's why crazy customer story i have one really long one that i actually tried to film a couple days ago but then i got scared because somebody pulled up right in front of me and i think it was my co-worker but the windows were really tinted it was the same car that they have so i was like yeah i don't want to have to explain this to my co-worker so i immediately stopped but it's like a really long video and i don't even know if i want to film it because it's so aggravating and i don't even know if the story's done like this was a story that was like two weeks long because they just kept coming back so eventually i might film that i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen with that i really don't but don't fret i have so many freaking crazy customers i'm never gonna run out unless i lose my job I don't think I'm gonna run out. I don't think so. I also, I think I did some on Walmart, like crazy Walmart people, but I didn't have many because I didn't work there often. But here, girl, there's a lot happening. Anyways, any of y'all work at and are getting your hours cut like really bad, I don't know when you're gonna see this. This is July like 27th or 28th. I don't know, it's a Tuesday right yeah it's tuesday i have been working five to six days a week yes i said six days a week yes that's happening right now repeatedly i'm not complaining though because i like the hours but next week the first week of august i'm getting my hours cut to 14 hours which is not my vibe and i'm working three days a week which is not my vibe because when i'm not here nothing gets done and that's also something I've already spoken to one manager about and they told me to talk to my other manager so that's what I'm gonna do today maybe I'm really scared because I don't I don't want to cause like drama you know that's what I'm really scared of sorry my story's over obviously now I'm just ranting but yeah I swear I'm gonna come to work after I get like my four days off the first week of August nothing's gonna be done and i'm gonna have to do why is somebody tiktok leave me alone this has happened before like i was gone a couple days out of the week and nothing got done so i had to do it all in one day like everything gets pushed onto me because they know i'm gonna do it and my managers love that for me but it's like my co-workers just push things onto me because they don't want to do it and they know I'm gonna do it and I'm really tired of it like really tired of it so I love that it's really fun like really cool just to elaborate on that I've had to clean a hundred fish tanks in one day and by clean I mean scrub every inch of the glass and the back and the sides and then you have to gravel vacuum which takes a long time because you're sitting here with a freaking vacuum in the water cleaning the gravel for 100 fish tanks and then you also have to scoop dead fish out which is supposed to happen twice a day but obviously only happens when I'm here so that's really cool I have so much more to like rant about on like shit getting past me but that's gonna be like another day on like really annoying co-workers because it's really cool anyways i have to go to work i really don't but i really just want to sit in the car and wait for like 10 minutes and meditate because yesterday was so bad i was about to scream at that lady 
the lady the story that I just told in case you're missing information. Um, I was about to scream. Also, I did tell my manager about her, obviously, because that's just my thing. Anyways, I'll see y'all. I don't know when. It's either going to be a Tuesday or a Wednesday, like I said in one of my videos. that I don't even know if it's uploaded yet because I have like six videos on cue because I'm pre-recording a ton of crap. But my schedule is going to change to Tuesdays eventually. So I don't, I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know. But have a good Tuesday. Have a good Wednesday. Have a good Thursday. Have a good Friday. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. And I'll see y'all next week at some point. Tuesday or Wednesday. Unless I die. Then you won't see me. Because I can't. Like I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm not. Like I'm, I can't post when I'm dead. I mean I could. But I just. I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to give y'all like. The belief that I'm alive when I'm dead. This is my brain. Anyways, I'm actually gonna go now, so bye.